Today I'm showing you exactly how to get fabric for Minecraft Java Edition 1.21.9. So to start off, you can go over to their official website, fabricmc.net. This is going to be linked right down in the description below. Here we can simply click on this blue button and our download will start. And now as you can see in my downloads, I've got the fabric installer right over here. So we can simply double click on that and then it is going to go ahead and open up. From here, it's incredibly simple. We just want to have 129 selected, of course, or really any other version you want. If you want it, um, I, re I recommend keeping the loader version at the very latest one. You can leave all the rest at default as well. And just click on install right over here. It's going to go ahead and install fabric for you. And as you can see, it happens incredibly fast. As you can see, we've now successfully installed fabric, which is great. And now because this was just the installer, you can actually delete it if you'd like to do so. And we can open up the Minecraft launcher. During the Minecraft launcher, you should have whatever version of fabric, in my case, 1.21.9, selected automatically, which is great. And so we can just click on this and then click on play after understanding the risks of playing modded Minecraft. And just like that over here, we've got Minecraft 1.21.9 with Fabric. So, perfect. Now, to add mods, if you have them, you want to put them all in the same location. And I'll show you how to get there right now. You want to press on Windows and R at the same time. And then in the box that pops up, you want to type in App Data. Just like so. Then hit Enter or click on OK and you should be brought to this location. From there, you want to go into the folder called roaming, then .minecraft, and then right into the mods folder down there. And this is where you want to put all of your fabric mods. Of course, make sure they are compatible with your game version, as well as fabric and each other too. Now, almost all fabric mods actually require something known as the fabric API. So it's really useful to just already download this. Um, and I will link this down in the description below as well. Just make sure you're downloading it for the version that you have Fabric installed for. Anyways, for right now though, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I definitely do hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.